I mentioned about 10 minutes ago the second production at the country's newest theatre is currently on stage. Uh, it's the Barn Theatre in Sirencester. If you haven't been to the Barn, it's brilliant. It, it is an amazing, amazing place. And uh, so much time, so much love has been put into this theatre that everybody wants it to be a success, and it is a success, because One Minute is their new production. It follows uh, the story of five characters who are united after the disappearance of, of a child. And actually, of course, I went to see the first production, The Secret Garden, and, and actually, I think you and Lewis, the whole point of, of, of the theatre is he, he wants to sort of uh, uh, break some barriers, really, um, and push the boundaries a bit and not do the sort of obvious productions that you would do if you wanted to pack out a theatre. So one minute is, is kind of a risky thing to do, I think, to put this one on. But, but getting great reviews, five characters united after the disappearance of a child and it's the directorial uh, debut of the theatre's artistic director, Ewan Lewis. He's currently not in the studio, but we'll say hi anyway if he's listening online. Uh, it's been running for almost two weeks and has been provoking a mixed reaction from audience members. In the studio this afternoon, uh, cast members Jack Bentz, uh, who plays, well, he can tell me, he plays detective uh, in the production, and Rebecca Crankshaw as well, who plays Dr Anne Schultz. Hello, good afternoon. Hi. Hello. Um, is it fair to say that Ewan is, is pushing the boundaries here with, with something like this, that, you know, uh, you've got the, the productions that you know will sell out immediately and, and get bums on seats, if you like, and, and actually the Barn Theatre is not, not just about that, is it? No, massively. Like uh, Ewan's fantastic. He's got such a bold vision for the barn. And yeah, l like you said, he could have uh, very easily put you know, put on uh, productions to, to get bums on seats, but he, he deliberately wants to ask questions and, and tell interesting stories and, and get people talking. It's, it's a fantastic thing to be part of. Yeah, and, and it's, it's an interesting one, this, because actually, if you, you know, when, when, you, when you sell this on the publicity, let's have a look at what you've sent out. Uh, one Minute by si uh, Simon Stevens. Um, and this is, is all about something that, for some people, they're, they're not going to necessarily want to go and see a story about this, especially if you're, if you're a parent as well. Um, Rebecca, what's your, your take on this, the sort of idea of it to begin with? Well, I think that um, one of the interesting things is that a lot of people um, enjoy this stuff on TV, right? So um, there are a yeah. lot of sort of BBC crime Missing, procedurals and that sort of stuff yeah, and, yeah. and Scandi Noir and those kind of things. So we're used to seeing that on television. And actually, it's something very new to see that this kind of intense drama on the stage. And I would really urge people to come and have a look at it on the stage because um, you'd be surprised at that level of the level of intensity that you can get um, and also this production is really mixed media so we've got a lot of projection we've got a lot of sound um, it's quite filmic in its nature um, so if you've never been to the theatre before because you think mm, I'm more of a film person surprise yourself and come and have a look because yeah. it's perhaps more like what you know than you think yeah, yeah and in the introduction I said you know it is uh, the country's newest theatre and th this is a building that I think you, in its former time used to be kind of a scout hut didn't it and it got converted and it definitely doesn't yeah. look like a scout hut now it's incredible uh the the lighting the the sound and what i found with the secret garden is is you, you just feel like you're in the zone you 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 are taken away aren't you jack oh uh, yeah the, the the tech setup is is just phenomenal there uh the, the guys like kind of chris jamie um all the all the production guys have have just done such a phenomenal job um and they really utilize it so well like this amazing tech setup they've i, I think they've uh, uh, they've, they've coupled it with a great script uh, written by Simon Stevens, and um, and and like the the piece they've put together, I just think is, uh, yeah, I, I just think they've utilised it so well. It, it's such a, I mean, I've been blessed enough to you know to work in uh, TV and kind of West End and stuff bad like that. But this, bad education, you were yes, in, yeah, 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 I was. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, right, when you walked in, I thought, oh yeah, <laughs> I know, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, uh, but but yeah, like the tech setup they've got at the barn, like kind of rivals anything I've seen yeah. in the West End. It, it like it really is a phenomenal right. setup. Let's get. Got we'll there. get to some of the reactions in a minute because because I say you know that, that, that's the whole point of theatre, isn't it? To get to get Ask reactions from people. Yeah, absolutely. Um, let's get into your characters first. Uh, Rebecca Crankshaw, you play Doctor Anne Schultz now. You're, you're the, the mum of the missing child. That's aren't you? right. Tell us a, a little bit of the beginning of the story, if you could. What happens at the beginning? How does the child go missing? Um, we never know, which okay. is one of the one of the things about this script. So um, basically, the the central event is something that we don't see, which is the disappearance of the child. But it's um, as I've said before, actually, it's it's like a sort of stone thrown into a pond, and the ripples that 
that come from that event, how it affects all the characters in the play. Um, obviously, um, being a mother, the mother of the child, it's every parent's worst nightmare to have this happen. Um, and so there's a there's a great deal of kind of emotional. Um, emotional truth in that um being a mother myself that's it's quite uh, extraordinary sort of <laughs> living that yeah. sometimes on the stage um thankfully my how, 13 year old, how old are you, is child? alive and well yeah Thir- 13, <laughs> 13 yes but, that, I have a but son. it's true i've got a 16 year old daughter and a 12 year old son and, and now i'm obs- i'm obsessed uh, on my phone you know and it's ridiculous isn't it because we grew up in the 70s or 80s when, when we never had mobile phones but i'm obsessed with these sort of like you know map devices tracking your children because <laughs> you're so paranoid that they're going to go missing but actually sometimes you just need to let go and go look we were okay absolutely Touch wood, they'll be alright yeah quite right yeah so I'm, I'm, I'm telling myself off basically. <laughs> so don't keep looking good for you uh, but we, we can understand those emotions that we all have though aren't yeah, we yeah absolutely we 100% okay so you're Dr Anne Schultz you're, you're the mum of the missing uh, girl um, and uh, uh, well tell us about Robert's character the detective yeah so so Robert uh, is, is new to the police force um, he's only 24 years old um, he's come down he, he's moved down to London he's he's a northerner so he's uh, he's, he's a bit bit of a fish out of water and he, he's he's very new to, to to cases like this this is a big case this Ma- is massive. It's a massive case yeah. and he's kind of only been in the force a, a short amount of time and you kind of see this pro- like the, the progression with Robert of he kind of starts and then he's kind of young hungry and he like he, he re- really wants to make things happen and then be- because of like kind of the, the seismic nature of, of this case you you see it kind of grind him down and 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 how he copes with that or struggles struggles to cope with it and he's he's got like like I'm, I'm really blessed with, with with this character he's got such a lovely arc um but 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 yeah and you just kind of see the the, the it's not necessarily his disintegration but but you kind of see how he really struggles to to deal with the turmoil I love of this that case term you just use there arc because because you, you often hear about story arc don't yeah. you but I've never necessarily heard about characters arc so this is the the, the change of the character yeah through, through and, and, it, and it's something that like we like like you really look for in in a part you know if, if, if the writing's great then you hope you've got a character that that's kind of got a degree of depth and and, and has like a nice yeah has a nice arc basically so it's uh yeah and, and simon stevens is just phenomenal with his writing he kind of he, he layers characters so so well and he gives you and especially with this script there's such an amazing degree of subtext as well um and it's like you really are blessed as performers to, to kind of work with writing like this. Okay, uh, if if Ewan was here now, you and Lewis, the artistic director, I know you'd be you'd be giving him a pat on the back and saying, well, Massively. well, well done, because yeah. he's done so well. And I keep forgetting, his, he's got his little, little puppy as well, Hugo, yes, that he brought he in last time. Is he alright at the moment? Hugo's good, yeah, he's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's running wild in Siren Sester, he's, he's doing great, he's, uh, he's, he's a local celebrity, we all love him, we bow down to him, all glorious right. H- uh, Hugo. Ben Collins is here as well, uh, the sort of content director of all this. Hello. Hello, how's it going? Yeah, I think we've pretty much covered it there, haven't we? But I, I, I think know so. We, we, we must say, I mean, we're obviously not going to tell us what, what happens because we need to go along and see it. But um, what are our emotions towards the end, uh, would you say, Rebecca and, and Jack? Um, I would say that you'll come out um, asking questions, thinking about some big themes, um, so sort of grief, loss, absence, alienation, what it is to live in a big city. I mean, I think that's the other thing. Yes, we two are characters, but the really big, the big character in this play is London itself. And um, anyone who's been to London, whether you live there or you just visited, whether you love it or you hate it, you will recognise it um, from this play for the extraordinary place that it is um, and what it can do to people. OK, well, I'm going there tonight, so I'll, I'll, I'll see if I, uh, I will think about that. Um, uh, thank you so much indeed for coming in. Let, let's just mention how you can go along and see this, by the way. Uh, it's going on... Uh, in fact, it's going on... Well, if you can tell us, Ben, how long is it going for? Yeah, absolutely. Well, we, st- uh, we started on the 19th uh, of this month and now we're continuing to the 16th of June. We're playing all the way up to then. All right, that is what I've got on my piece of paper here. Uh, tickets and breaking news on tickets. Isn't there? Well, indeed. Well, we uh, because this show is such a multimedia cinematic experience, you know, it's as, as, as harrowing as some of it is, it is an absolute thrill ride, you know, all the way through and it's very filmic. And we've actually incorporated about seven short films in all of the projection things we have uh, going on during, you know, these guys' fantastic performances. Uh, it's such, you know, it's such an exhilarating show. Um, and, you know, working on it was, was uh, an absolute joy.
Brilliant. You want um, to get more what, young people but what, along, uh, but Yeah, exactly. So what we wanted to do was uh, get young people along to the show like they would go to the cinema or anything else. So we were actually offering uh, tickets for £10 for anyone under the age of 30 Brilliant uh, for idea. a limited time. Brilliant idea. OK, if you want to go along and see this, it's called One Minute. It's on at the uh, Barn Theatre in Sarancester till the 16th of June. Uh, the best thing to do is to call the box office 01285 648 255. Uh, tickets £14 to £28 but £10 if you're under 30 as you heard there from uh, Ben and uh, the website barntheatre.org.uk Well done, you're doing a great job there at the Barn Theatre and it, it's brilliant that, that I can keep saying oh, the newest theatre in the country as well <laughs> yeah, That yeah, is yeah. so brilliant, thank you so much indeed for coming in Thank, uh, you. Jack, thank, you. thank Jack, you uh Jack Bentz and Rebecca Crankshaw and Ben as well, Ben Collins from the uh, Barn Theatre uh, BBC Radio Gloucestershire mentioned the Jet Age Museum at Stavart, an amazing place if you're interested in the history of aircraft and Gloucestershire it is definitely the place to be this weekend special volunteering weekend we'll hear from Darren Lewington uh, in the next few minutes from there also Mark's got in contact thank you Mark uh, apparently outside Tesco's at St Oswald's Park area in Gloucester uh, backing up to the Tewkesbury Road heading west out of town. Big problems for a Friday afternoon on the roads. In fact, you guys just come from Saren, sister. What's it like? Yeah. <laughs> bit of a jam coming up. Wee, wee bit of traffic on the roads, All right. yeah. Well, maybe take it. Take a break, have a coffee before you go back. Yeah, yeah. well done. Avoid you. the air balloon, guys. <laughs> Avoid the air balloon. We've heard that one before. <laughs>